Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the Fujifilm Instax Share SP1. Now this is a printer that connects to your Android or Google device and allows you to print images taken on your Android or Google device or photos that you've uploaded to your Android or Google device. Are you confused yet? I am. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the box and hopefully the review will explain what I'm on about. Okay, so this is everything you get in the box. You get a set of batteries, there's two altogether, and these are CR2 batteries. They're not too common in Australia, but you can get them if you hunt around. You then get a set of manuals, and then you get the unit itself. Now, you don't get any film in the box, and you don't get a mains adapter. Now, you can get a mains adapter without using the batteries, but it's an optional extra. Anyway, now let's go and have a look at the unit itself. Okay, so this is the unit itself, and as you can see, it's rather small and compact, and it's not really much to it. You've got um, basically a slot at the back here, which is for where you put your batteries. So you put your two batteries in there. You've got a mains adapter, which is an optional extra. You have a reprint button, a power button, um, and then you have the bit here, which you open, that allows you to uh, load the film into. And that's pretty much everything. There's not much to it at all. So uh, next, let's go and actually uh, load the batteries in and power this unit up and pair it with some device and print some images out. Okay, so now I've got some film and the batteries are loaded. So let's uh, put the film in. So if you open it up like so, and if we just uh, tear this open, get that out and it's the usual procedure like all the Instax cameras basically you've got the yellow to yellow so if you put the canister in now if I shut this the first one that prints out should be a blank like so so that's the blank come out so now the uh, unit is primed and ready so next let's set up the unit to uh, print some images from it okay so first of all we'll power up the unit and as you can see it lights up and on the front it tells you how many uh, photos are left to be printed out and how many bars are on the battery and you can see it's got three so it's fully charged next uh, you go to your settings and in your settings you'll see it will come up as a Wi-Fi device in stack uh, share so you connect to the device then you push your uh, home button and go to actually load up the app now the app is in stack uh, share so once the app loads up as you can see now you have a few options you can set a few um, passwords you can print and you can use existing photos from your iPad. So you can send stuff to your iPad or transfer stuff to your iPad and then print it out with this printer. Or you can actually just print using your iPad or iPhone or Android device using the camera on board and then printing out. We'll um, choose a picture. Um, we'll just choose any one because there's plenty of crappy stuff on here which I've taken over the period of time. So let's just choose me. So that's a picture of me. And as you can see, if you push this button here, it allows you to add uh, a bit of titling to the image before you print it, which is quite handy. And you've, you can also add borders and you've got various colors. And if you keep pushing it, you then get also some themes like party and anniversary and baby and all that sort of stuff, which is quite nice. So you can add those to your picture as well. But in this case, we just want a straight picture. So next, what we're going to do is now uh, print the image itself. So we say connect to printer, and now it's connecting to printer and sending the image to the printer. Um, as you can see, the bar's going across. It's not too slow, it's pretty quick. Um, and next, it should start coming out of the printer in a minute. Okay, so now we have the image itself and it's come out the printer. So next we just have to wait for it to develop, which shouldn't take too long. Well, there you go. 
there's a bit of a look at the Fujifilm Instax Share SP1 and yes it's a great device um, if you don't actually own an Instamatic camera already it's a great opportunity to get into Instamatic photos by having this printer and the fact that you can pair it with your iPhone or Android device or you can upload images to your iPhone or Android device from an actual point and shoot camera makes this great for printing photos on the go and I can highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm Justin and as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.